Hi, my name is Michelle, and I'm glad to meet my colleague from UK. <laughs> Ireland. <laughs> Here we go, folks, boys and girls. And we're just leaving Torrance Yard in Cork and we're heading down for Bandon. That's where we're going. We're in Scania. Or 560. Top line. Now we're just going to go through the Jack Lynch Tunnel, named after the Irish president and former leader of Fianna Fáil. Back down in Cork. It's our toll bridge now on the way out. I think this is the last one we're going to see because I think the next one is up in uh, Port Leash. Um, I'm assuming we'll have a tag for it anyway, so. I just saddle up to the usual spot.
go on. Uh, Fuck. Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. was I haven't driven this truck before and when I stopped um, I was supposed to put it on to rest um, most modern trucks they'll go on to rest automatically as soon as you turn off the key she'll go on to rest but this one won't and I sat there for 40 minutes looking at it thinking I was on rest looked at the taco head and went oh my good god I'm not on rest so I had to take another 45 minute break now luckily I only had to do about 20 of it because the rest of it was actually done loading um, so I'm not too bad, but like that that's a nightmare, but So we're not going to make our boat, which is the P&O. We were ho hoping to make that, but we wouldn't have made it anyway, like, you know So we haven't really made that much of a big boo-boo I'm uh, just looking at those curtains there um, I know they look decoration, they're, they're very decorative and all that and they're nice and blah blah blah, but they drive me mad. See this here, that, that, and I'm trying to, you know, duck my head and look out underneath them. So, uh, the next time we stop, these will be coming down, fashionable and all as they are. Um, they're just, they're annoying me. They, they, they annoy my, my eyes and they annoy my vision. And I'm, but I'm trying to read signs, I'm kind of ducking and trying to look out underneath them. So, um, I hope the driver, whoever drives this, doesn't mind me taking them off. I'm sure he'll be able to put them back up again. I'll do my best to be careful when I'm taking them off so I don't damage them or, or uh, you know, do anything to them. Um, but I, I, I did drive, I couldn't stick looking through them now for a week, you know. I know that there's a long, there's a deep visor on this and the visor's there, but there's an awful difference for me between looking straight ahead and having these things dangling in your eyesight, you know. They are just at the south side of Port Leash. Now, I just got a message from the office there saying basically that um, sea truck will uh, will put me on the boat if I if I get to the port by 9 30 that sea truck will put me on the boat and that would be a serious serious uh, winner if I could uh, get onto that because that that's that'd be brilliant um, but as I said I'm not gonna start counting my chickens um, I'm running at 88 K's here which is it's not it's not it's not a fortune of speed like you know it's it's quick enough for the continent but it's a bit slow when you're when you're looking for gears and you don't know which one to get it's gonna take me a while to get this gearbox I'm so used to driving an automatic now but I get there it's great to have actually a gear stick for a change because Feel like you're actually doing something apart from steering you know um, beautiful truck though, absolutely beautiful you know absolutely lovely so we're gonna hit her on for uh, for Dublin port I don't know whether we're gonna make it or not it's just gone it's 25 to 9 now like so I've got an hour like you know that's really pushing it you know but 
I can only do what I can do and if we don't get that we'll have to just go into Stenna. Yeah, I'm not sure what you can see there, if anything at all, um, with those bloody curtains there, but um, we're already 10 minutes late. As I said, half nine cutoff point. I'm after ringing them there and they said to me uh, that the cutoff point is now and uh, just to keep coming but sure it's going to be it's going to be 10 to 5 to 10 before i get down there so there's, there's practically no chance uh, of me getting on this boat practically no chance um i'd like to know now because if i'm not going to get on the boat i'd like to go into that uh, uh, uh the topaz garage but I'm gonna to have to drive down to Sea Truck now. Even if it's gone, I'm gonna to have to drive down because I've come this way. So, if there's even a slight chance of some delay or something happening that they're delayed, um, I might still be in with a chance. But it's so slim now. I'm already like 10 minutes late, and I'm another. I'm at least 15 minutes away. So it's gonna be five to ten before I'm down there. You know, not likely at all, unfortunately. How whenever. Uh, we're just coming through the poor tunnel. Uh, we're 10 minutes to 10, like we're 20 minutes late already, like so. I mean, it's slim to zero, I'd say. But we've come this far, we keep going. Five zero is the trailer number. LT one five zero. Yeah, uh, fresh meat. Yeah. Yes, please. You're an absolute star. Right. Thanks a million. Straight around, yeah. Thanks very much. Thank you.
Now, what I've done is, what I've done is I've taken that, that stuff off the windscreen. Um, I didn't like to have to do it, but it was driving me absolutely bonkers. Uh, this nonsense in front of my eyes. This is the ticket here. Uh, sea truck. Time 21.58, my God. By the skin of our teeth, that's a booking ticket, that's a passenger ticket. Passenger ticket here, and this is the booking ticket. So, I bring the passenger ticket up with me. Um, now what I should be doing now is getting my stuff ready. Um, my wash stuff. Um, and not sitting here looking out the window. That's what I should be doing. So, that's exactly what I will do. Men's caps and all sorts. I'm just lucky, you know, Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, I mean, listen, I just want to thank the Lord, um, and I want to thank whoever's looking down on me, because without your help and intervention, I wouldn't have made that boat, and there's no question about it, I would not have made that boat. Um, and I did make it, and it's fantastic, and it's brilliant, and I'm delighted, and I'm so uh, grateful. Don't think I'm not, I am grateful, very grateful, very, very grateful. This is the boat here now. We're just waiting to get in, and this is the unit from a distance, from a distance. The lights down the sides. No we're, we're nearly there. We're just waiting for these tugs to come off.
there's Dublin Port at whatever time of the night. Started our break just after 10. We have to take 11 hours for a nice split break. It's all there. 